Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, we went, in the end of the last episode, we went down to the depths, because we needed some Zonai, so I could <laughs> build my cars again. And while we were exploring down here, we found this thing that looks a bit sus. Because this looks like it can be a mine, and this passage here is also a bit weird looking. So today... The first goal of the episode is to take us there and check that thing out. Because I have no idea what that can be. Is it good weapons here? Mm. Not really. And also he heard the froggies. So let's try to keep our eyes open for a new light route as well. That will help us a lot. Oh, is this where we're going in? I guess so. This is super weird. Ooh. The hell? It's really a mine here, huh? That's crazy. Usually, next to mines, a light route should exist. There usually does, at least. There's a lot of large pose I'm gonna take. Let's drop the car down here. Okay, so this is a mine, but a rather <laughs> abandoned mine. Hasn't the uh, Giga dude f found this yet? Authorizer verified. Welcome. This was once a busy refinery where a great deal of zonite was processed. My task here is to manage the signs for mining equipment. Hold on a minute. Uh, I've confirmed there's a schema stone that you do not have yet. An instant cannon. Oh, is it a cave here? Yeah. I hope... Uh, okay. So we're gonna build the cannon here. Oh, this is actually so nice. Oh. <laughs> Why haven't I thought about this when I'm gonna clear? This is super nice. That is so good. Was this everything here? That's quite sad. <sighs> here, I guess I'm gonna buy the large crystallized charges. Because I have enough for them. That makes us now we have 200. Yeah, okay, I have a feeling that this should be a part of the Giga Clan storyline, maybe. Because that's where we have fought him before. But maybe we need to trigger the Giga Clan uh, questline before this place gets 
useful. I don't know. I'm just uh, spitballing here. The hell is up here? Is it another entrance only? So where can the light route be then? There should be a light route in close proximity to... ...to the ruins. It usually are. Or it has been every time, actually. So it's weird that I can't find one now. really dark in here. Dial. There seems like a boss fight is. Oh, is, isn't this the... The boss from the... I need another spear. But I have nothing to drop. This really looks like the boss from the... From the water temple, if I remember correctly. Let's go. No time to waste. I guess we need water or ice. Okay, the weapon with most damage is this. Just straight up bullying this this Muk Torok. Give me water. That missed. Oh my god. Phase one. Bots here, I think. That's not aimbot. That's aimbot. I'm just because I'm not never gonna have time to cross this thing. I'm just gonna. That's not a lot of damage. Stay here. I 
Ah, freaking slow sludge. Had some damage at least. Where are you landing, dude? That should be enough if I get up to him here. Maybe not. I think we will need one more, yeah. This time be ready with the eye. Ah. It's gonna... <laughs> Search for an item here for one hour before beforehand. Okay. I would say it was as easy as the last time. Maybe a bit harder because you didn't have the low gravity. Really wonder what that is, though. But maybe it's just crystallized charges, because that is what usually they drop in the on the bosses here. But a hundred of them, though. Like now we have a full extra battery, which is nice. What I'm really searching for is a light route, <laughs> so we can see anything. Maybe we should fight this or deposit here. Actually, I forgot to use my paraglider when I'm landing there. Is this back in business? Ah, oh, damn. Nice. That was actually a really nice clear of enemies there. Uh, all my weapons. Can I just grab this? Nice. Lysel boomerang. Why not? So let's just examine the map here a bit. Yeah, we're really dark in the dark. I see a light route in the distance there. I see two even. Should we just also clear this quickly? If 
Hercules power, something with a lot of. That's nice. What do we want to use? Maybe a monster sword. Why not? Also, we need some light here. I don't want to fight in complete darkness. Really good clear. Oh. It was a good door deposit, it was a lot of Zonite in regard to re re relation to the amount of enemies. And my car, I think, fell down. Ah, but we have a light route here as well. Also really weird with this type of depth here. Oh my god, is that only s a lot of silver enemies? Dial. Oh, I really, really, really hope I have stamina enough of it. Yes, that was super close though. So we're like in the middle of something here. Don't need that on that enemy though. Okay, so this is where we are and we're straight above. Okay, so it looks like same type of ruin here. And that's actually Terry Mine, so that's a mine above Terry Town, huh? That's cool. And we thought the boss was okay. Then we should actually go try to go north even more if we can. So we have something there as well. That's a entrance for Chasm. Okay. Oh no. Okay. How are we doing this the smartest way? I think actually with this and then we just bomb the shit out of them underneath us here. That's at least a start. Look here. Trousers of Twilight. Legends say trousers were once worn by a hero who battlefield the Beast of Twilight. The inside are lined with cozy wool fur. Oh, so is this from the from another game? Here we should <laughs> change uh, the gear also to something with a bit more utility. Freaking out! Stop! Stop! Wrong. That was the only one I didn't want to activate. I want to activate this dude. That's a lot of damage. And also bring out the Sage of Fire here. So we can play some bubbling. Boom! 
And now they're clustered up, which is nice. Sword, I think. Good damage. Where is my Ryu girl? I only three see three of my sages here. Where's the last? an intense fight and we're not really done yet don't forget to take all the loot here This feels like this place should ho something more than only <laughs> some enemies. Maybe that was it, huh? This is like an elevator up. Don't know why you would need to take an elevator, but let's take it. jump down again because the car is still down there. I just wanna see what all of this is about. Is this like if you wanna take the slow way down? Nope. Oh frick. I still can't see the real purpose of this place. But maybe it's just a place for killing some enemies. Like if you want a lot of Bokolobins, you go here each Blood Moon. Okay. So let's keep going north here in the depths. Because we have some, some interesting places down here. That I still wanna explore. First, you need to go get away. Otherwise, it's gonna be a pain. Flying. Oh, 
Hopefully this can take us all the way up. I missed some Poe over there, but that's that's some fine that's something I'm fine with. Yeah, we're gonna go north. Ah, a lot of light routes that we don't wanna miss on out out on here. Also approaching a bit of a warmer climate here. Oh, yeah, I was a bit slow on activating that again. At least it didn't fall uh, fall down behind us there. Can just push it down, I guess. Here it's hot. And I don't think I have enough food for the warmth, actually. Now that I'm thinking, I only have one piece of gear with flame resistance. I know, I know, it's hot here. I tried to run away from it. There we go. No, where did the freaking car go? Reels. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's super annoying. Don't do the other way now, please. Thank you. But I really need to get myself some gear that... So I can be in, in warm districts without burning up. Okay, so here it gets warm as well. And if we go this way now, I guess it's gonna get warm still here again. The hell is that thing? It's a Giga Hideout and a Light Root, nice. I think I'm gonna have to start with this. <laughs> Important notice. After, this, this, uh, <laughs> after the disaster in Hyrule Field, our bases face yet another threat. You must watch out for large, one-eyed, four-legged animal. These terrifying beasts are ravenous and ready to swallow anything and everything in vicinity. The sight of moving glowing ore will alert you to its presence. But do not be drawn it by its resemblance to Sonite. Those ores that grow on the body are both lure and a weak point. Yeah, we know that. 
So that was no new information for us. Now oh, you're above me. Let me snipe you with some aimbot. Where was that thing? Then Ah, it's up there. Makes sense. Also this freaking electro weapon is driving me mad on the with the sparkling sound. Let's see what we get. A va wagon. Nice. Okay. So did my car survive? Yeah. Need to find a platform to start from. So I think this is not <laughs> gonna work. Or perhaps it will. close are we to then so I want to see how far up I can go and we should probably also find uh, in the depths the labyrinth for this as well which can be nice to light up so where was we we're there so we're gonna go for a bit more Oh, look here, look here. We have some type of um, ascend place in front of us. And also, is that some type of boss to the left? Oh, that's a giga hideout, huh? And this is actually on, on top of a shrine. Don't tell me that they always are like that. Oh, they are, huh? They are. Damn. That's crazy. Why haven't I seen that um, pattern earlier? Then it's really easy to know where the light roots are. Or shrines, if you have find light roots, but not shrines. That's actually a cool little detail. And water in the depths, huh? So that thing right there will be in the overwall world. Okay, that's super weird. <laughs> Why would I need to ascend up to the ancient lab in Akala? That means that that light root is probably that thing right there. And I also remember now I should... Before I ascend there, I should actually go up here with the flying car. Because the flying car will despawn when we ascend.
Okay, it ends there. So the labyrinth is impossible to get to from here. I need to approach it from above. Or from, from like, the ground above us. Was this the Giga thing we did? No. I don't know. Oh! Let's just clear this little camp here. Oh, not a good start. Let's throw in a. Oh, frick. A muddle bud, perhaps. If I could actually aim. not six in damage. Also eat something. Can be smart. Come. What the hell? Stop juking me! Like the biggest enemy ever and I still... And I still can't freaking aim on him from two meters away. Yes, this should be enough. Oh, now we don't want to be in the explosion. Great loot here. Now we have some eye for a while in the future here, which is nice. So let's leave the depths for now. Looks cool, also. And I guess we can leave the depths via the um, this ascend, because then we could actually do the labyrinth that is here. Dudes. <laughs> nice, just stand both of you here. That's perfect for me. Okay, so from here, we have both, like, the islands on the outside, but that's actually a while, uh, uh, quite a way down, so let's just glide over here then.
Research log day one. It took us two days to reach this is isolated island. Though the ruins stood before us, we were exhausted to explore. Th Though very, Turo was able to decipher the sonai writing on the stone slab. The dragon's ring slumber in the labyrinth depths. Wake it and you shall receive due comp compensation. While his translation provided me with renewed vigor, Tauru shortly thereafter fell ill with fat fatigue. fatigue. After seeing him off on his way home, I swore to tackle his runes myself. The acorns and nuts I have prepared to mark my path should see to it that I do not get lost inside. Though I am alone, I need to work hard enough for both Tauru and myself. Can I just walk here? Oh, I shouldn't pick the acorns. Guess it's this way. Nice. Oh yeah, we can also... I forget that always the minimap is really good for... In these labyrinths. They give a lot of information for you. That's the longest labyrinth ever. Approaching then. Also, what is that red thing in on the other side of this? Is it like a chasm down? It might actually be acorns, acorns. Oh, what is this sneaky little thing? Okay, why is this here? I wonder. Ah. Aren't we here now? Ah, so it's only... Ah, it's a chest here. Starting to get a crazy good uh, amount of shields now. Are we? Everything is electric here. Research log, log day two. I walk carefully, avoiding the stirring gloom. Just one touch, and it will invade the body in the blink of an eye. It was a, wi a wise decision to send Tauro home. Allowing him to continue our trek in this condition may have pr provided the uh, fatal. But what exactly is this strange gloom? More importantly, have they found the princess and her swordsmen who dwell beneath Hyrule Castle to investigate it? I can only pray for their safety. Well, Zelda is still gone, but I'm here. And we made it. No, it's a. Uh, I was like. 
the hell? I didn't see it was a ladder there. Any fire fruits? Yes. And while that burns, let me just check this place out. Okay, so this is the correct way, yeah. And I'm just gonna go in. Because it's probably some chest or something. Or an... Strong Zonite Longsword. Is that something I want? No, because I have already snapped a picture on it. This was a long little run. But we managed. This is probably Rauru's blessing. Who could have guessed? Another HP upgrade. But activating this portal, that will be the next episode's adventure. If you have enjoyed watching today's episode, please consider liking the video, it helps me a lot. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This has been 23, I will see you in the next video, bye bye.